In this video, I want to show that the group of units modulo 5 under its multiplication is isomorphic to Z4 under its addition. I kind of want to start by recalling that we've already seen in a previous video that U5 turns out to be a cyclic group generated by the element 2. And in this particular group, the way 2 generates U5 is that we start with the identity which is 1, and 2 to the first is 2, and 2 squared is 4, and 2 cubed is 8, but we're doing our multiplication mod 5, which is 3. And then 2 times 3 is 1, so we have everybody. So that is how we're going to get the elements of U5 written. And what I want to do is I want to draw a Cayley table for U5, but I want to use this order of elements because I want the elements to go from 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 squared, and 2 cubed. So when I draw the Cayley table, I'm going to make sure that I want to remember that I'm doing mod 5 arithmetic. I am going to be doing a multiplication, and I'm going to have the elements 1, 2, 4, and 3. And I will also have rows 1, 2, 4, and 3. And to keep everything nice and neat, I'm going to put in some lines because I am working on an unlined blackboard. And let's put in a double line there. And a double line here to separate the um, indexing rows and columns from the cells with the answers. So now uh, we are going to put in the in these cells what the appropriate this times that is. So one times one is one, one times two is two, one times four is four, one times three is three. I know that multiplication mod 5 is commutative, so once I have a row, I can simply copy it down for the corresponding column. So this column looks like that. We now move on to the second row. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 4 is 8, but we are doing mod 5 arithmetic, so that is 3. And 2 times 3 is 6, but that is 1 mod 5. And so this column gets filled in with a 3 and a 1. 4 times 4 is 16, which reduces to 1 mod 5, and 4 times 3 is 12, which is 2 mod 5. And so we get that particular entry. And finally, we have 3 times 3 is equal to 9, which is 4 mod 5. So that's my Cayley table for U5 under its multiplication. Now what I want to do is I want to look for the Cayley table for Z4 under its addition. I do want to remember that this is the group generated by its one element, and the order that one generates this would be 0, 1, 2, and 3. And the reason why is 0 is the identity element for the group. It's 0 times 1, and then we have 1 times 1, and then we have 2 times 1, and then we have 3 times 1, and 4 times 1 comes back to the equivalence class containing 0. So for the plus table, I am going to keep the elements in the same order. So we're going to have 0, 1, 2, and 3. 0, 1, 2, and 3. Again, I want to get these nice lines in to make it, to make it a little bit easier to follow my work. And now it's a matter of filling in the table. So when I fill in the table, I'm looking at addition mod 4 in this table. And so addition mod 4, 0 plus anything is going to be the anything. And addition is commutative, so once I have a column, I can, or the, once I have a row, I can uh, flip it over and fill in the column. And now 1 plus 1 mod 4 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, and 1 plus 3 is 4, which is 0 mod 4. And so the second column gets filled in that way. 2 plus 2 is 4, which is 0 mod 4, and 2 plus 3 is 5, which is 1 mod 4. And so that 
flips over and fills in that. And the final, the final place on my Cayley table is 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, which is 2 mod 4. Now what I want to do is I want to try and see how these two tables have the same structure. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight things. The, uh, the identity element over in the U5 table is named 1, and the 1s appear in the places where I have highlighted in that purple color. And you'll notice that the 1s in the U5 table occur in exactly the same places that the zeros occur in the Z4 table. This is not a surprise since zero is the additive identity in the Z4 group. Now what I want to do is uh, let's look at this pretty green color and I'm going to use that for the generator of the group. Two is the generator of U5 and you'll notice that I am turning these are kind of a blue tealy color. The twos are all getting highlighted in this blue tealy color. Now the generator over here is a 1. So I will highlight the 1s in the same color. And you'll notice that the blue things are now in the same places. Well the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use yellow for 2 squared which is 4 over here. And those are all the fours. And over here, two times one is equal to two, so I'll color the twos in the same color, which is this yellow color. And what I'll do is I'll leave the threes inside just a white color. And what I want to notice is the following thing in my two tables. I want to notice that the 1 in U5 is the same color as the 0 inside Z4. And those were both in this color. Actually, oh well, let's just do that. And uh, now what I want to notice is that the 2 in U5 is the same as the 1 inside Z4. And these were in this color. And the next thing that I want to notice is that the 4 in the U5 table is playing the same role as the 2 in the Z4 table because these are the things that are in yellow in both tables. And the final thing that I want to note is that in white, the 3 in the U5 table is the same as the 3 in the Z4 table. And by this, I mean that they are in exactly the same places in the tables. So what this means is that the two tables do have the same structure. So the tables have the same structure and so U5 under its times is isomorphic to Z4 under its plus.